So, Clive, maybe you'd be kind enough uh, in time on a tradition just to, to take a card to out pick for a card. me. Yes. yes. Um, okay. I always think if I pick the middle one, you'll be expecting that. So I'm going to go for that uh -huh. one. Okay, yeah. perfect. Uh, have a look at that. You can show it to you can show it to me. Actually, it doesn't matter if uh, if I see it. King of Hearts. King of Hearts. Perfect. Um, and would you be kind enough just to sign your name? Uh, actually, maybe you'd sign it, sign it on the top as on it's a thought card, just so that we can uh, see okay. the signature. I don't we'll do. think that I was uh, cheating at all. Perish the thought. There we go. Well done. Thank you. And um, <clears throat> the idea of the trick is is very straightforward. I'm going to take the card and uh, fold it in half, uh, just like this. That's perfect. And uh, then I'll fold it in half again, which, with any luck, if my uh, basic mathematics serves me, would make quarters. And the reason for doing this is it gives me these uh, creases down the card, uh, which would allow me to tear it up if I wanted to. And as it happens, I do. I'm going to tear it just down the middle, like that. And I hope you can see that really is a genuine tear, by the way. Sometimes people think I haven't really torn the card. It's just an illusion, but uh, I really have torn the card. And if I continue to tear it down the middle like this, uh, then that would make uh, two separate pieces or two halves of the card. And if I put those two pieces together and I tear them like that, then that should make uh, not two but four pieces or four uh, quarters of the card. And the idea is to take them uh, one piece at a time and to try and, uh, and fuse, almost if you like, to weld them back together uh, to how they were before I tore them up. Uh, thus raising the question, well, why did I tear them up in the first place uh, if I'm just going to put them back together? But um, bear in mind the trick is not nearly as impressive when I do put them back together if I haven't previously torn them up. Just thought I'd mention that. Uh, watch these two pieces over here. And um, they should just about fit like this. That's one and two. And if I give it a little squeeze, they actually stick back together. Let's try that again with the next corner. That one fits just over here. And if I just give a little squeeze there, you can see the front and the back, no glue, no tape holding it together. Uh, the last piece, of course, is the most difficult because there are two edges, uh, which makes it twice as difficult. Um, but hopefully you can see that really is the missing piece that fits in the corner there. Um, and hopefully you can also see uh, your signature down there at the bottom. And if you watch closely, that's the first edge. That should be the second edge, meaning the entire card is completely restored. And with any luck, it'll never fall apart. You can keep that forevermore. Check it out. There it is with your signature all back together, all in one piece. And that is my card. Um, I'm going to check it. I'm sure there's a, there's a secret compartment somewhere in here. There's another card masquerading. So. No, just one card. Amazing. 